WPRI 12. This is The Road Show. And good morning, everybody, and thanks so much for joining us on The Road Show. You are taking a live look outside at Newport Harbor. That's right, so if you look, you can see something in the distance there. The Silver Shadow cruise ship just made its way right into port. Now, the ship holds roughly 380 passengers and nearly 300 crew members. Wow, the, uh, the cruise ship travels anywhere from New York City to Quebec, Canada. Well, Yes. Now we've said this before. I just want to go on the cruise ship right now. Maybe we should do Me the too. whole show live. I would be happy from to. The cruise ship. I right? would be happy. In Newport Harbor. Do you know that I think at the? I'm not sure if it's the end of the summer. I think the end of the summer. Princess Cruise Lines is bringing in the which was the love boat. The love. The love boat is coming into Newport. I'm, I saw another press release about that that they were coming in as well. And I think some of the people from the TV show are going to be on it. Are they going to be on it? Yes. Oh so my we gosh. need to figure a way to get on get that. There. We need to get on that. Even uh, if we have the cruise swim. Ship. Yes. We'll get there. We, we can hold to get the on gear that cruise up, ship. up yeah. and you know That's right. see how good we can swim. You've gone on a cruise before. I love cruising. Me too. I'm a total cruise. Oh, right. I just went on a cruise. I, I was just away. Yeah. Yes. yes. I was just away. It was great. My friend is on a cruise right now and she's doing the update of every day like day one day two day three she's right. now on day six she leaves tomorrow she gets off but I'm like so envious it was so perfect Will did an update so we didn't get no the no updates. I didn't update no I didn't update well, so my friend know, is updating every day every day it's, it's pulling me in right. every day right no it was it was yeah, when I went I like going on the cruise if you go yeah, there were there were people who were on the cruise with 40 something people yeah, that's amazing, though. That's amazing. Because right? well, everyone can do their own thing. Everybody can do their own thing yeah. if you're on the cruise. Yeah. You know, and this that cruise, I looked it up. It's a little bit of a higher end. You know, there's only 300-something people. Yeah, 380 passengers on, bo on board that cruise ship. So it's a little bit of a higher end cruise. A little, little higher end. A little higher end. We could, we the could room, hang. The, room looks, the rooms <laughs> look really nice. I, I was checking it out to see where it was going, just in it case. It does. I mean, it, you know, thinking about a cruise, especially in the summer, oh, I would love that. And my wife was, was she yesterday or the day before yesterday? She's sitting on the couch next to me. She goes, you know, what do you think about a Mediterranean going to the Mediterranean? I'm like, right. fuck it. I can, I can, I'll be up. I can be have my bags. When bags can be packed in about an hour. <laughs> you know, let's go. My grandmother was a big cruiser, yeah. and she cruised all over the world. Right. And I think I kind of got like the the bug from her. And right. I, and I love it. My parents are not big cruisers though. Yeah. So we never did it as kids. There are certain places where yeah, I don't mind. Like I wouldn't mind going on a cruise for two. And then yeah. there's other places where I just want to be there. Oh no! Yeah, you know like what I mean? you just want to take your flight and get right. There. I just want to take the flight and flight and yeah, go. Yeah, I right. get that. Brendan, have you cruised before? Do you have your cabana wear? Have, have you cruised? <laughs> have you cruised before? <laughs> no, I have never cruised. Right. Yes, I have my cabana wear. Excellent. <laughs> However, forty people. Yes. I don't, I don't want to travel with one other person. <laughs> uh, I, I, I would go see these. Your own little cabin. I would oh. see these people like coming for dinner, and oh. it was like it was like a marching band yeah, no. yeah. that was coming through. No. Because Brendan, I get what you're saying. Like I could never I, go and no. stay like at a house with somebody. No. That many, but I don't like the cruise. Right. You could just go to your cabin. Right. You could go to like a cliff. So right. much things to do. Right. And if I really don't like what's going on, I could just jump overboard. But yeah, you. you could, I, I traveled with six. There were 16 people that went on the cruise this time. It was easy. That wasn't bad. Yeah. It was a little more challenging when I went away last year to Spain. Because it was about 18. Oh yeah, oh, you had a big group too. There was That's a large right. group you on that trip too. Yeah, yeah, it was a large group. It was trying. It was trying to move around. Challenging. <laughs> Challenging. <laughs> Sounds grueling. <laughs> Going on vacation. <laughs> I'm teasing you. Good morning. Good morning. Well, as many of you know, at the end of the last three calendar years, I have won a very impressive award, Uncle of the Year. <laughs> now I've never, thank you, I've never mentioned this because, well, I made it up. There is no award and it's not true, but I am a very proud uncle to my niece, Caroline. And from time to time, right here on this show, I enjoy showing you pictures of her and people seem to really enjoy it. And not only that, it seems that she is now getting quite the kick, Will, well. <laughs> out of seeing herself on the old television. That's right, we've created a monster. <laughs> but since there's already one in the family, why not one more? So just a few weeks ago, we were recording a fun video on the phone. And as this was all unfolding, I kid you not, she decided that she had a message for Roadshow viewers. So here it is now. Caroline, do you have something to say to the viewers? Hi, everybody. You know, we can't pay you for this appearance. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Hi, 
everybody. <laughs> oh, you've got to love it. I, I really, I can't wait till she turns 18 and sues me for all of the appearances that I didn't check with her about ahead of time. But how cute is that? It's fun. I know you love seeing her. So there you go. I hope it brightened your day just a little bit. All right, Thursday is upon us. We've got a great show lined up for all of you, including a chat with the one and only John Cafferty. John Cafferty and the Beaver Brown Band will be at, at PPAC on stage this Saturday night with special guests Steve Smith and the Naked. It's going to be such an exciting show. I cannot wait to share my chat with John later on. We've got this, plus so many more other stellar guests and segments that you won't want to miss. We're glad you're here, so let's keep it rolling by sending things into the kitchen where Audrey awaits.